Pastor Dias, and describe how heaven looks like. Hello and welcome family, my name is Emmanuel, and today I will be narrating the near-death experience that was shared by our friends. These are true and factual testimonies from real people who have shared their experiences about the afterlife. We would appreciate you watching and listening to the end of this supernatural message, and we hope you join us by subscribing and help us reach a milestone of 1 million souls this year. Feel free to share your opinions and experiences about this message in the comments section, and spread the love by sharing with your loved ones and friends, because you are also a messenger. Now, relax and grab your coffee. Let's get into today's message. In May 2006, a servant of God was brought to heaven to meet with the Lord Jesus and receive a revelation of six messages. Brani Duyone Effendi, age 52, a Dusan ethnicity. He serves in the Borneo Evangelic Church, Kota Belud, Sabah, in East Malaysia, as an elder. He had served as pastor in Melangkap Baru, Kota Belud, and later became the church leader at the SIB Bayayat from 2005-2006. On April 21, 2006, my wife and I went to West Malaysia to attend the wedding of our son. Unfortunately after one week, I had a sudden stroke. I was immediately brought to the medical center in Malaya University where the doctor examined me. He told me that there was a rupture of blood cells in my brain, and I immediately needed to get an operation. I was in coma for one week after the operation, and in intensive care unit for one more month. There were many servants of God who came to visit and pray for me, including the former SIB Sabah president, Pastor Taipin Melidoy, his assistant, Pastor Datuk Arun Salutan, and also Pastor Michael. I once dreamed of a heavy rain pouring on me. I interpreted this dream as the answers to the pastors who had prayed for my recovery. Praise God, with his power I recovered sooner than expected. One midnight, during the third week of May 2006, I felt very strange. I could not go to sleep while the other patients had slept soundly. During this time, I had my mind only on Jesus. I remembered in Isaiah 43 26, review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together, state the case for your innocence. I kept thinking of these words because I wanted to focus my mind only on the Lord Jesus. I could feel the strong presence of God at that time. Then I started to pray in the spirit. After praying, I tried to sleep again, but I just could not. Then I leaned back in my bed. Suddenly I felt as though someone was tapping on my back and stroking on my head. This happened for a while. I felt something amazing flowing into my body. I believed it was a father's love to his child. I wondered who this person was. When I turned to face him, I was amazed to see that he was a young and handsome man, well built, tall, with a long hair down to his neck. And he was wearing a white dress. I asked him, are you the Lord that I have been thinking of? He only shook his head. Then I asked again, If not, then who are you? At last he started talking to me. I am a messenger from heaven. Jesus told me to come to you for good news. Now I realized that he was the angel of God, so I asked him, What is the good news you want to tell me? He replied, Tonight, you will go to heaven. Immediately I felt very calm and peaceful, even though my body was sick. I felt as if I did not have any pain. I had fully recovered from my sickness the moment the angel told me that I was going to heaven. Then I said to the angel, I'm ready to follow you to heaven. I can't wait to see my Lord. While we were walking I saw my earthly body was left on my bed. After we walked out of the hospital, I saw an amazingly big and tall horse. We will ride this horse, said the angel. The angel helped me onto the horse, since it was so tall. Then I asked the angel, can we go to heaven by riding this horse? The angel then assured me, of course, don't be afraid and worried. Have you read the word of God about Elijah who was taken up to heaven by God? I told him, yes, I read it before. The vehicle that brought him was a chariot of fire, pulled by horses of fire. That's right, and that is one of the horses that we will ride now said the angel. Kings 2.11 And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. At first we went slow, but after about 100 meters the horse accelerated to a very high speed, and I felt as if we were hit by a hurricane. 
Then I saw the horse was already flying. We crossed many mountains with ease, flying with God's power. Then we reached to a very big field with green grass. It was perfect, with not one dry blade of grass. Psalm 23 2. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. After the horse stopped, we went down and began walking. I could see the kingdom of God right before my eyes. As we were walking on the field, I heard a bell ring. Then I asked the angel, why does the bell ring? He said, the bell is a sign that someone has come. We continued walking to the end of the field, while the bell was still ringing. I saw a very beautiful house. On its top was a red light, like a traffic light. On this light I saw the number 51. I asked the angel what the number meant. He said, what is your age now? During this time I was 51 years old. Then that number is your age, so is your house number two, the angel told me. I felt so happy and peaceful to see what God has prepared for me in heaven. I saw many houses which are already prepared by Jesus for his children who believe and follow him. We continued walking to a very huge house, with many people inside. I believe they were the holy people that God have chosen. They were praising God. I saw Jesus was sitting on his throne while all the people were praising and worshipping him. They praised him with all their hearts. They danced, they lifted their hands and they bowed to their knees. Deep in my heart I said, if only people on earth praise and worship him like this, God will be very pleased. I saw many people were crying while praising God. Jesus smiled while watching how devoted they were to worship God. They lifted their hands towards Jesus and Jesus was blessing all of them. After the service finished, Jesus walked among them and wiped off their tears. Then I remembered the verse in the book of Revelation. There will be no more death, no more grief or crying or pain. Revelation 21 4. The angel brought me into Jesus. The angel spoke to Jesus. Lord, this is the son that you have chosen to come here. Jesus then said to me, Great, my son you have come today. Then Jesus hugged me, and it made me so happy and peaceful that I cried. My soul jumped with joy because Jesus himself hugged me. The angel then said, Lord, I went to his house on earth when he was sick. Nevertheless, he is now better. Jesus replied, Yes, I heard and saw what happened to him. The angel continued, During that time, I heard his wife pray for your help. She prayed, Lord, help us. Please don't take him now because we are not ready for him leaving us yet. That was her prayer, Lord. Jesus then said, I know everything. His wife is a God-fearing woman. She is faithful to me and diligent in prayer. Then my soul cried again, thinking of my wife's faithfulness to God. Then God spoke to me, My son, you will go back to earth because it is not your time yet to be here. There is a lot of work for you to do when you go back there. You will be very busy to serve me. Then I replied, Lord, please don't ask me to go back, because I am very peaceful to be with you here. I feel happy to be close to you, Lord. Please, I don't want to go back. From his face, I can tell Jesus became disappointed. Then I begged him for his forgiveness because I had disappointed him. I said, Lord, I'm ready to go back to earth, but please help me, Lord. Give me strength and take care of me wherever I go. Be with me, Lord. Jesus then said, Yes, don't worry. Wherever you go to serve me, I will always be with you. Jesus had messages for me to bring to earth. He wanted me to tell these messages to the children of God on earth. These messages are very important for them to know, said Jesus. I was told that I would be very busy getting out these messages. Jesus also wanted me to share my heavenly experiences to all the children of God, so they will be blessed and renew their strength to follow him. Jesus spoke to me, when you go back to earth tell all my children these messages. There were six messages which Jesus had given to me. First message, tell my children, they must believe in me with all their heart, their strength, and their mind. Those who are worried and doubtful will not get in here, said the Lord Jesus. Second message, tell my children they must be faithful to come to the church service, because that is the time when I will shine over their faces and they will look for my face. I will be very pleased to see my children worshipping at church," said the Lord Jesus. Third message. Tell my children, they must be faithful to pray, do my will, and live with my words," said the Lord Jesus. Fourth message. Tell my children, 
they must be obedient to give tithes and offerings, said the Lord Jesus. While Jesus was giving me this message, he said, My child, look there. He showed me beautiful houses which are ready for his children. My child, these houses are ready. I prepared for all my children that believe and are obedient to me. Then he showed me incomplete houses. I asked, Lord, why are these houses not yet completed? The Lord Jesus said, My child, these houses belong to my children that are not generous giving tithe and offerings. These houses will be ready and completed after my children give more tithes and offerings in my house. Fifth message. Tell my children, they must put in prayer all their wealth to me for protection and blessing, while they are still on earth, so that when I come to earth for the second time, they will not be attached to their earthly wealth. Remember the story of Lot wife, said the Lord Jesus. Sixth message. Tell my children, they must be ready and alert, because I will be coming soon, sooner than people expect, said the Lord Jesus. While Jesus told me the sixth message, he showed me the sky, it was all clear and no clouds. I saw Jesus opened his hands to earth and he spoke, I am ready to take my children. Then I saw many people in white robes flying up in the sky to meet Jesus. They were gathered to the left and right side of Jesus. Many people who believe in Jesus were ruptured. Moreover, I saw all members of many families were being ruptured. I could see the husband and wife with their children flying up towards Jesus. I felt so peaceful to see this sight. Then Jesus insisted, look down. Jesus then showed me the situation on earth. It was very chaotic. There was no peace on earth during that time. I saw people were running all over the place and shouting. Parents were looking for their children, and youths were looking for their parents. Jesus showed me the church in my hometown. I felt so sad, because there were some people who were left behind. Jesus then said to me, Be faithful to me. You must convey all things that you have seen and heard to my children on earth. Then the angel took me to earth on the same horse we rode before. We got to earth very fast. Then the angel took me back to the hospital. While I was looking at my earthly body, my spirit immediately went back into it. I noticed that my body had fully recovered from the sickness. Praise God for his power. I remember that when I was in heaven my body looked like as it did when I was young. That is my testimony of meeting with the Lord Jesus in heaven. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more upcoming messages from the Lord.